Robert's transformation had lightened some of the darkness within her for me. Uh, yes, of course. Vasilisa has it too. Okay. Uh, first of all, she turned to me in a panic. Did you help her? Did you get her out of there? I did. I said, trying to emulate Dimitri's gentleness. What's that night flood St. Vladimir is for a while? Partly because of the warnings from Sonya. We left and then came back and uh, were able to stop what was hunting her. I didn't think it was a good idea for Sonya to know that the thing, or rather person, hunting Lissa was now sitting out in the living room. I took a step forward. And you can help Lissa too. We need to know if... No! said Dimitri. No gentleness now in the warning look he gave me. Not yet. But... Not... Yet. I shot him a glare in return, but said no more. I was all for giving Sonya her recuperation time, but we didn't have forever. The clock was ticking, and we had to find out what Sonya knew. I felt like Dimitri would have been able to give us this information immediately after he'd been killed. <sighs> Sorry about the joke. Of course, he hadn't been unstable beforehand, so he'd kind of had an edge. Still, we couldn't play house in Kentucky forever. Right, here we go. Can I see my flowers? Asked Sonia. Can I go outside and see my flowers? Dimitri and I exchanged glances. <laughs> of course, he said. We all moved to change the position for the next song. Flowers when you were like you were. She paused. I've always grown flowers. I know, I remember. Right, so here we they go. were gorgeous. Yeah. Well, I see they were gorgeous too. Is that why? I mean, did you just want a pretty garden, even as a the boy? The question was unexpected and seemed to throw her off. I was about to give up on an answer when she finally said, No. I never thought about the city. They were, I don't know, something to do. I'd always been flowers. I had to see if I still could. It was like a test of my skills, I guess. I met Dimitri's eyes again. So, maybe you hadn't been part of her world. It was just like I told her. Mr. Goy were notoriously arrogant, and it seemed the flowers had simply been a show of parts. Growing them had also been a familiar habit for her. And I recalled how Dimitri had read Western novels while Strigoi. Being Strigoi might cost someone their sense of goodness and their out, but old behaviors and hobbies remained. We took her out to the living room, interrupting the conversation between Victor and Robert. Sonia and Robert both girls, sizing each other up. Victor gave us one of his knowing smiles. Up and around. Have we found out what we need yet? Dimitri shot him a look similar to what I'd received when asking about the interrogation. Not yet. Sonia dragged her gaze from Robert and moved quickly toward the patio door, pausing when she saw our shoddy patch dog. You broke my door, she said. Collateral damage, I said. In my periphery, I think Dimitri rolled his eyes. Needing no guidance from us, Sonia opened the door and stepped outside. With a gasp, she came to a halt and stared <laughs> upward. The sky was a perfect, oh, right. cloudless day, and the sun down. had crossed the horizon now, illuminating you know, everything. Heather's in that group of flag bears at the end of that line by the. Feeling the warmth of that light on my skin. Mark time, 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 Mark time,